Sean Brady is going to move up to as high as number six in the rankings after his win over Michael Chiesa. Hamza Chamayev wants to fight him, but Brady is more interested in taking on the winner of Bilal Muhammad versus Wonderboy, who fight December 18th. Hamza is probably going to have some difficulty fighting guys ranked above him because he's a tough fight, and if his opponents win, they're going to stay in the same spot. If they lose, they drop in the rankings. That's why he may end up fighting a guy like Neil Magny, who is willing to take that risk. Even a guy like Gilbert Burns, who's willing to fight anyone, knows that it doesn't make sense logically to take on a guy ranked seven spots below him, who's a tough fighter. If Hamza is willing to take a replacement fight in a future title fight, that's a way he could catapult to the top. Vicente Luque recently played that role in the fight between Usman and Covington. Adrian Yanez and Davy Grant hang out and eat dinner with each other after their fight over the weekend. Yanez got the decision win and has won eight in a row. There's no UFC this weekend, but you do have Triller Triad Combat featuring Pula Van Meer, and also Metallica is going to be performing at the Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. These guys are going to be competing in a triangle, and they're getting sued by Dada 5000 for using that same format as his Trigon. It's going to be sort of like boxing, but you are allowed to clinch, but if they don't break these guys up in the clinch, it could be extremely boring because some of these guys just might try and clinch the entire fight and stall the action. But we'll see. It'll be interesting to check out at least once because of the novelty factor and because there are some recognizable names on the card like pool of mirror mike perry matt mitrione and even albert tumanov thanks for watching mma digest like and subscribe to keep up with everything mma